Well, it's quite warm in the Datsun today, but today we are going to be trying to fix the uh, little bit of wobble we got in the front end. Fires right up. But we got a little bit of wobble. Um, not more so wobble as it is kind of like free play. So I ordered some ball joints. We're going to pull into the garage and uh, take the old ones off. We are waiting for the new ones to arrive. They should be here in a couple hours. But I want to go through the process of getting them off with you guys. I've never actually done ball joints before on anything, I think. And so it'll be a learning experience for us all. So I don't know how well you guys can see, but right there next to the sway bar is your ball joint. And it's gonna sit up inside the strut assembly, I think. So we'll have to unbolt it, drop it down, and then do the actual ball joint nut. Which is a castle nut that's got a cotter pin through it. Right now we have to figure out how to get access to that top bolt that actually secures it to the lower control arm. Well, um, now I'm recording because Austin's hands are dirty so he doesn't want to get everything all dirty. And uh, yeah, my hands are not dirty because I've been worrying about marriaged stuff. We just got marriaged and I'm not wearing my ring because I'm cleaning it. <laughs> And his ring. For me. What the hell? Anywho. Oh, wow, that's not tight. I... That's comforting. You already tell him what you're doing. Oh. Yeah, so there's two bolts in the back of this ball joint. Right here. I don't know how. Yeah, you can see it. And they were 14 millimeters. That looks to hold the tension rod arm to the actual lower control arm and then right now we're still trying to figure out how to get this all the way off because I have no idea I've never done this we're learning together Yay. but this uh, this ball joint is definitely no good with how much grease is everywhere um, it was definitely time to replace it slay it it's just built up on everything. Would you like to explain what you just got off? Are you still time lapsed? No. Oh. Yeah. The bolts for the steering knuckle. They're a pain in the, the rear. I recommend probably taking those ones off first because it moves the whole strut assembly and steering rack while you're doing it. But uh, even if you lock the steering wheel and you've already taken everything else off, it just rotates the strut assembly itself. So uh, do those ones first. Because now we're moving freely as far as the strut assembly goes. Hopefully I don't have to take the strut assembly all the way out to do this. Okay. Okay. So, if you just push down on the control arm and the, uh, I just said it, the steering knuckle, then you can move the strut over enough to get access to the ball joints castle nut and then the cotter pin. So what we're going to do is fold over the cotter pin, pull that out, and then we'll break the, uh, the ball joint nut loose. And hopefully, it just drops. But... Working on cars has taught you anything, it won't do that. <laughs> I just broke that castle nut free, and uh, what we're doing is just removing that real quick to expose the, uh, the ball joint thread itself, and then hopefully it just comes out, but it doesn't feel like it's going to, so. Ooh. There's your steering knuckle and uh everything you need to see i guess Ooh. but you can see that that was uh pretty busted it's got tons of grease everywhere and the uh the actual casing of the ball joint has come apart so 
Why do you have to change your ball joint? Because that. Yeah, but what does it do? Well. Inform everybody what it does. So, it uh, allows the control arm and the strut assembly to pivot. And then when it busts open like this, you've got too much play. And then you can run into problems with like your, your steering being a little sloppy or improper wear of your tires, stuff like that. So I'm doing them both now. You can do them one at a time, but if we're already here doing this, we're just gonna... If this them. one's this bad, I'm sure the other side's gonna be just as bad. Yeah, I don't know that they've ever been changed, so we're just gonna knock them both out, call her a day. Okay. So we've got this nifty little tool here. Looks like a tuning fork on steroids. Um, we're going to take the hammer and the tuning fork and try and bust that ball joint loose. I need to be bolted back down to break it loose. Uh oh. Yeah. That's what do you put it back on? Um, one of the ball joints bolts to hold it to the control arm while I try and break this loose so it doesn't flop around everywhere. Gotta, gotta try to bang it when it's hooked to something because banging it without a hook to something no worky. Yeah. That. Got it off? Yep. Had to use that tuning fork and push this back into place. Put a bolt in it and it slid off with a lot of persuasion. No gentle persuasion. A lot of banging. A lot of something. Now there's a socket or nut stuck in the socket. But hopefully, if we ever have to uh, do any of this again, which we shouldn't since these ball joints lasted. I'm not going to say it lasted 50 years, but it lasted a while. So we don't know how long they lasted. We shouldn't have to service the ball joint ever again. But that is, uh, that's rough. There you go. So, we finally got the new ball joints. I already took it all out of the packaging so I could make sure it was all there. This is what it should look like. It should have the dust boot, grease boot on it. It comes with a new castle nut and cotter pin. And then I need to grease them, so I gotta find a grease gun real quick. But that looks... A hell of a lot better than uh, what came out of the Datsun. I haven't done the other side yet, so I don't know what that one looks like. I've been waiting on these to get here just so I can make sure they're the right ones. Should have done that before, you know, taking the other one off and throwing it away. I guess I could pull it out of the garbage if I wanted to, but it's trash anyways, so we need to replace them. So this is what it looks like with everything off. As you can see, that grease leaked out everywhere. And uh, that's pretty clean, mostly because it was covered for the past 50 years. That's filthy. I will come back in after installing these and I will clean everything up because I hate having dirty parts. I have located the grease gun. I now need to run the compressor so I can build some pressure and use it to actually fill it. I've now got one all greased up and ready to go in. I'm going to do the other one and then we'll just knock everything out all at the same time. So we've got the one on and done. She's bolting the wheel back on. You're trying to at least. And then we are hopping over to the other side. We'll knock this one out real quick since we know what's going on. And tomorrow when it's bright out because uh, we had to wait so long for these to be delivered, we will go out for a drive and I'll set the GoPro up in the car. We'll see how that looks and if you guys like that maybe i'll do some more driving videos as such um let's drop it down get it torqued up and then we'll move to the other side yeah what you got for us okay so i may have put a little bit too much grease in this one it started to slip out of the boot but we'll be fine i didn't blow it out so we're good um we just got the wheel off on this side we're gonna go ahead and start taking everything apart 
same as last time except for this time we're taking the two bolts that sit on the steering knuckle off first so we can go ahead and get this out of the way and not have it turn on us while we are taking the rest of the bolts out and then it should make it easier for us to pop that steering knuckle off of the come on you keep saying it i know <laughs> and i can look at it and i can know what it is i can know what it does but i always forget the name uh ball joint there we go so we can go ahead and pop it off the ball joint hopefully a little bit easier than the other one since we had to bolt it back up so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this Maybe if we're lucky, this side's not as bad as the other, but I'm guessing, based on the other side, that it's pretty, uh, well... This side really seems well. to always be worse anyways, for whatever the reason. Well, that side's brake pads were harder to install. Wasn't it this side? Uh-uh. Because oh. the car was flipped. Oh. It was facing that way. This was the harder... Or, this was the easier, uh, pad to, uh, change. Alright. So. So we'll get into it. Well, yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, that came off super easy. Yeah, this side was a lot easier to <laughs> take off. Boots are not quite as bad as the other side, but it's pretty dang close. And as promised, we are going to go for a drive in the Datsun and uh, see if those ball joints can make a, a noticeable difference in the way it handles. Mostly... I get a little bit of drift if I'm on straight lines on the freeway, um, sometimes a little bit in corners, but not much. So we will go test that out. All right, so I'm going to try and use this GoPro mount. My concern is that this is an aftermarket deal. And I don't know how well this suction cup's going to hold. So, let's try it out, I guess. just now I will say it is more direct as it it should be from factory um, I could I could tell a difference there um, it's not as wavy it doesn't uh, it doesn't wander all over the road so I will say yes new ball joints are definitely uh, if you drive your car a lot, if you drive your Datsun a lot, and this applies to every vehicle, but the video is about the Datsun, so I'm gonna keep it about the Datsun. Um, yeah, it, it was definitely worth it. For 60 bucks, I got two new ball joints. I greased them up, I put them in a year, two hours. And the only reason it took that long is because I'd never done it before. If I had to go back and do it again, I could probably get both sides done in an hour. As far as vehicle maintenance goes, it's something that, you know, you got to do eventually. And I wish I would have done it sooner. If I buy another old Japanese project, this will probably honestly be one of the first things I do. Um, as far as drivability goes. Like being able to drive this every single day or thrash on it, take it to the track, which is the goal, is to go autocross in it. But I would say, do them. If you're thinking about it, do it. I mean, like I said, vehicle maintenance. So I will uh, end off the video here. Hopefully, this footage turned out okay. Uh, first shot at recording with the GoPro inside a vehicle. So, uh, 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'll take a look at the footage too, see what I think. But um, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. There's Datsun videos, Audi videos, Volkswagen videos. We've got uh, quite a range of stuff. So I will catch you next time. Later.